Chef. My name is Aaron Vaughn. Um, I started doing this because I had a, dis uh, I had a brain abscess um, about two years ago. And just wanted to start showing, wanted to prove to everyone that I could prove to myself that I could still cook. But I, I started sharing videos with people to show people how to cook with one hand. So today we're going to make pickles. Um, so one thing I already had sliced some cucumbers and some onions in here. And then I just had some extra baby carrots and some whole carrot cucumbers and onions in here. So the first thing you do is you get some garlic. And I'm doing about four cloves smashed up in each. And then you want to go in with, I'm making it easier, I'm doing a pickling spice. So you want to do about a tablespoon in each. And if you love pickles, which I, I do, uh, making your own is so much better. There are good pickles out there, but it's so much better uh, when you uh, make your own. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do a quarter cup of sugar. And then four tablespoons of salt. Like so. And then we're gonna go hot water. And this way it's a lot easier. You can boil it and then use your half your water and then use half your water ice. But we're gonna do hot water on the spigot. Just make it easier for everybody. You want that to dissolve. We're gonna set that over here. One more very special ingredient. It's fresh and dill. Very important. Rough chop it. Stems and all. And then the next important is vinegar. And I have one and a half cups, and I'm gonna split it up in these two jars. Make sure your mixture is all dissolved. You know, that's the only reason you really want hot water is so that it does dissolve because it doesn't really dissolve in cold water. People in the South, you always ask if you have sweet tea or regular tea, and if they don't have sweet tea, you just get a coat because everyone knows to make sweet tea, you need to uh, use a simple syrup. It's very, <laughs> Southerners are very picky about there. All right, then we're gonna go in here. dissolve the last little remnants. And there we go. And then just push it down. And mix it up. And you can do that when you put your lids on.
and that's it. Let it sit for a couple of days because we're doing a, basically a cold pickle. If you can have it in a day, but I'd let it sit for at least a few days so you get that nice, crisp, pickly flavor. Takes a while for that vinegar and everything and for it to work its magic. And there we go. And then you have these beautiful jars, really good for gifts as well. And what you do after you put the lid on, just keep flipping it, stirring it around, and you'll just end up with a delicious, um, delicious edible pickle. Use it for hummus, use it for a burger, use it for a charcuterie board, or just to have a snack if you're on a pickle board. Um, you can do whatever with it. It's very versatile. Um, and that's about it. Um, thank you, Produce Project, for being one of my sponsors. Thanks everyone for liking and subscribing so far. Continue to do that. And I'll be back next week uh, with another video. So that's Single Handed Chef out. Thank you.